Hello everybody. Today is Sunday, November 22nd, 2020. The time is 11.15 a.m. It's 48 Fahrenheit, 9 degrees Celsius. And today I'm going to walk 13th Avenue in the neighborhood of Burrow Park. This is largely a Orthodox Hasidic Jewish community. And I'm going to walk from the 55th Street station all the way to 39th Street. Pretty quiet Sunday. This is 13th Avenue right here. New Utrecht Avenue. This subway can use a lot more work with the painting. It's, um, yeah, it needs a lot of renovations. But I'm gonna head north along 13th Avenue and show you what it's like in this neighborhood of Borough Park. Largely Orthodox community. It is a Sunday, so most members of the community here should be more open. If you were to come yesterday, it would be the Sabbath, and it's not really a good time to come here because everyone's inside. But I expect there to be a lot of activity here. There's a clothing store. A lot of places I don't even know um, what they offer. This is chala, fresh out of the oven. Looks really good. A kosher meat and poultry place. So you can see here, a lot of traditional Jewish dress. Clothing. And since it's near December, we have a lot of different toys and menorahs, wonderful objects of Jewish culture and religion. Most members of the community here, they prefer to live a more simple life. Although it's a little bit different than what most members of society are used to. They're very hardworking people, very religious people, and very family oriented. I'm actually excited to try some Jewish food today once I'm done with this walk. Sub Express. So this business decided to close because of the lockdown in the area. 
But then again, I do believe New York City may go entirely into lockdown starting next week. At least that's what the authorities are saying, which isn't a good sign. This neighborhood especially was hard hit due to COVID. Landau's Health. Now in this community, 13th Avenue and 16th Avenue are the two largest streets in the area for commercial activity. The other avenues are more residential. Well, that wasn't cool, that car kind of jumped to beat the light there. Here we've got Strauss Bakery. These cookies and crackers look very, very delicious. All their products are made from Kima the Ocean. I can actually smell some of the bakery from here. Pretty amazing. And there's a truck, I mean a car blocking the way of the school bus. That's not good. I know the community here in uh, particular is very strict about their education for their children. Getting to school on time is one of them. Or I should say it's a very important part of their culture. Here we got the Spoons Cafe. breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Actually looked very inviting in there. It's a big difference if I were to come here on a Saturday compared to Sunday. There's the people here, they don't believe in driving cars on Saturday. Oh wow, these are beautiful. Look at all these fabulous items of um, decor. Beautiful menorah here. This kind of looks like a chandelier. Gorgeous. They really take pride in all their work, all their religious objects and decorations for the home. And this seems to be a um, grocery store for their community. A little bit hard to get around just to the sidewalk, but these are all the products that they sell. Strawberry, Taffy Top, Dizzy Dizzy Chanaka Center for our children.
There's a gallery across the street that isn't open right now, as well as the wine store next to it. Wow, there's a kosher pizza place and falafel place across the street, established in 1959. That looks really good, actually. And they have knishes. Here's a toy store, Linux Toys. There's a police car and a sanitation truck, football and a basketball. And another store with a lot of fabulous items. There's an eyeglass store and spring. Let's go around the side of this bakery and take a look at some of them. Kosher certified. Got some Bialis here, some bread rolls. Looking at some of these pastries, it makes me very wanting to come in to get some stuff later on. The shoe store. And another clothing store. I'm just so happy to see all these people out. There's some trinkets and jewelry for sale. Jewelry store, I mean a pharmacy store. Town of Brooklyn. It sure can get noisy here, but that's to be expected as it's one of their biggest streets. Wow, look at this person. Very elderly, yet he's walking the streets and living his life. I really respect him for that. Oh, look at these treats. So delicious. I'm definitely gonna get something when I finish this video. Malka Markets.
I tell you, this community is really into their decorations and their silverware. It's another one across the street, Hayes with him since 1952. China Glatt Fine Dining, Chinese sushi and American cuisine. They have their structure here for some outdoor dining. There's a home repair and improvement place, hardware store. I like the name of that store over there, Ashkosh Bigosh. Sounds like a storybook rhyme. Here you can see more of the dress. It's a beautiful store, a lot of nice pieces of art here, some cups, decorations, clocks, gorgeous. Judaica Corner. Looks like a general store, selling a bunch of things. There's one of the side streets. Ladies wear store. This store looks like it's closed right now. Kosher Food Depot. You can tell they take pride in their hats because they're all in boxes. They want to keep the, um, the hat nice and um, preserved so when it's ready for purchase, it doesn't get all messed up. Got some turbans here. Another clothing store.
I do notice that double parking is an issue in this neighborhood. It makes it particularly difficult when emergency vehicles such as that Hatsala ambulance need to get through. This community has its own um, security force and also medical system. Whenever someone is in need, they're very quick to help those in need. And they don't have to rely on the city for the city medical staff or the police department to get to where they need to. I really respect um, their community for that. Here we have the table, pizzeria, and cafe. Here's some more artistry and menorahs. Absolutely stunning. Alright, so I've approached 39 streets. Over there is the KRM Kolel Supermarkets. But this will be the extent of this video. I pretty much walked the main commercial area of 13th Avenue in the neighborhood of Burrow Park. Hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to smash the like button if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you next time. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.